Okay. Okay, let's let's try this again about the NFL real quick. Like, yeah, trade deadline was today. Um, if you didn't know, like, and a lot of these were draft picks, you know, by the way. So, um, if you're wondering, first off, if you're wondering, why is this video out so late? Fell asleep last night after work. Um, got back at like 6 o'clock. Uh, cause I work at subs, uh, I think we've discussed this already that I subs to at schools all around Dallas. So, um, I'm tired. I'm tired after a long day, so I went to bed. Went to sleep. Had a good, had a good night's rest. Um, so I didn't see the Bengals, you know, absolutely get throttled by the Browns last night. So I didn't see that game at all. I know Jamar Chase was apparently out. With an injury, uh, but honestly, more importantly, right now, first things first, you got the trade deadline. No Brandon Cooks trade or anything like that, but T.J. Hawkinson, he's going to the Vikings, and the Bears they got Chase Claypool for a second rounder, and then Bradley Chubb, he's going to the Dolphins. Chase Edmonds is going to the Broncos. Jeff Wilson. Is going to the Dolphins. Calvin Ridley, which is honestly the biggest surprise here. He's going to the Jags. He's going to the Jags. Remember, this is the same man that bet on these two teams in a game, got suspended for the whole season for it, and now he's a Jacksonville Jaguar. He's a new ball. Like, uh, Neam Hines, he's a Buffalo Bill now. Insanity. This this trade deadline was pure insanity. You know, we had some guys, you know, get fired uh, as well um, today. Really, we had, we had, we just had plenty of storylines. I know, um, I know Pat McAfee's over there seething over a logo ban. I don't know somebody, um, one of the Zimmers. It wasn't Mike, it was a different Zimmer that passed away. Uh, I usually don't like to talk about, you know, passings at all. Because, I mean, you know, it's just it's just a lot to take in. But it's like, everything that has gone on is just insanity in the NFL right now. Like, we're still talking about Dan Schneider, you know, when is he going to get removed as an NFL owner? Please, begging you, somebody say something. You know, the trade deadline was today. And there's just so many storylines in the NFL right now that make absolutely no sense. You know, like the Bills, they beat the Packers, and the Ravens, they beat the Bucks, And those kind of go hand in hand because Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers don't know what they're doing right now. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know what planet they're on. Tom Brady's apparently just going through a whole divorce that's, you know, taking up a lot more time. And then you got Antonio Brown inserting himself into the drama. You know, it is what it is. And then the NFC East is just still, you know, the the division to talk about. The Cowboys basically blew out the Bears. Uh, I know the Cowboys run defense isn't all the way there. You know, injuries and all. Again, every every single team is just injured in some way. But um, the Bears were able to obviously get some pieces at the trade deadline to maybe help Justin Fields out a little bit because Justin Fields is improving a little. I wouldn't say he's doing all that great, but he's doing he's he's doing okay. He's doing better than some of the rest of these guys, you know. Just it's, it's just it's just I don't know at this point. Um, and then you had the Rams; they still. They're still kind of wishy-washy right now. Like Cooper Cup got hurt. Christian McCaffrey at, at rushing, receiving, and passing touchdown in this game. And going back to the NFC's, A.J. Brown, all over the Steelers, caught three TDs. The Commanders, last-minute drive to beat the Colts, led by my boy Sam Ellinger. The Seahawks, they recovered a couple fumbles, you know, to get past the Giants. Because without those fumbles... They weren't going to get past the Giants, I don't think. You know, Derrick Henry ran for 200 yards, but the Titans only scored 17 points against the Texans. 
Luckily, the Texans only scored 10 points, so it is what it is. Bill Belichick continues to assert his dominance over the Jets. I don't know what in the world Zach Wilson was doing as I was watching this game. I was, I was like, why does Zach Wilson have 300 passing yards? But at the same time, I was like, why does Zach Wilson have three interceptions? You know, it's like, I, I, I don't get it. I really don't. I also don't get the Raiders getting completely shut out by the Saints. Maybe I was missing something. I was missing something. I, I genuinely do not know. The Vikings just continue to go under my radar, like a lot of people. Like, it just, it's just why, how, at this point, like they're six and one. The Falcons lead the NFC South. Eddie Pinero missed a couple of kicks. One of them being a PAT that could have won the Panthers the game and put them in the lead in the NFC South. You know. Like the Panthers choked this way. You know, you thought um DJ Moore would choke this way with the whole um shade and I called it the shades of the twenty sixteen celebration bowl. And if you watch that game um back in twenty sixteen, uh it was North Carolina Central, so Carolina connection. Uh, a dude on North Carolina Central took off his helmet, got, you know, um an unsportsmanlike penalty. And, you know, the Eagles of the NC Central missed the kick and Grambling was able to win the championship. It was a black national championship off of that off of that miss. And so I so it was shades of that for me. That's what this game reminded me of. But really the Falcons, you know, didn't choke and the Panthers did. That's really what happened here. The Lions, we know they can score again. They scored twenty seven against the Dolphins, but they still can't play defense. They still cannot play defense. I'm sorry. It just is what it is. And then the Broncos beat the Jags in London. Like, who cares? Right. Broncos country. Go hide. Just go hide. You're still, you're still, you're still not, you're still not good. I'm sorry. You're not good. Go hide. This team, this team played a Jags team that has literally no identity now. Like, like this Jags team had promise and now they look lost. So, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear nothing. Hopefully this time this video will go up and go up well. So we got a lot of stuff to talk about, you know, next you know, next few days. So I want to get through and get this done. So until tomorrow, Big Boy Sports is signing out and I'll see you all tomorrow. Let's hope this video goes up and stays up this time. And take care. Peace. Thanks to the subscriber who realized that the audio was just not working again.